All right, good news, good news for Cora Obidi, or should I say double good news or multiple good news for Cora Obidi? And the beefers are back. Even before she started celebrating, they are back with a whole lot of beef. Let's get right into this entertainment daily lovers. Welcome, welcome back. We are here to share some good news about Cora Obidi and what's happening. And uh, you are welcome. If you're enjoying Cora Obidi's gist, just don't watch and move on. Drop us a comment. And for those of you that are engaging with our content, I say thank you, thank you so very much. Okay, and if you are yet to subscribe, what are you waiting for man come on go ahead and subscribe turn on notification catch up on the playlist okay the playlist of cora obidi and mr cora obidi if you know you know anyways let's get right into this just right about now all right okay so cora obidi was on live and she was super excited she was emotional announcing that her father was actually coming to the united states to visit she and her girls and look that was so amazing cora could not contain herself cora could not contain the joy and that was just so good that felt so so good like if you're a lover of good thing and if you're just someone that loves to see people happy, you will be genuinely happy for this lady because this lady has gone to a whole lot for the past three years. Like Cora have been to a lot and so much more is still happening. The plotting and so much that people are doing on the streets of the internet, social media. So seeing that there was actually something that was making Cora excited and happy, a lot of people were genuinely happy for her. But don't worry, we will get right into what the beefers and the haters had to say. Okay, so Cora Obidi announced that her dad was coming to the state. She and her kids were going to pick up her dad. She dressed up wearing a beautiful red gown, hot gown. You know Cora now. <laughs> She not the carry last. The get they represent. Okay, the babe they represent. I know fish out. All right. <laughs> okay, so Cora looking all good, all excited, got into a car, strapped a little one at the back seat. She banned the camera, asked her little one, Are you excited? We're gonna pick grandpa from uh the airport. And they started driving. They drove down to the airport. Grandpa was there. Uh, she saw grandpa coming out with his bag. That's Koro Bidi's father coming out with his bag and with his luggage, sorry, and um put his luggage in the boat put the other one behind and both of them were talking she was so excited she was so happy grandpa was also happy i'm referring to koro Bidi's father as grandpa because the little one cora's daughter was in the car with her okay when she went to pick up her dad right so uh cora's father was super excited seeing the kids grab the daughter was holding on to the child hugging her so tight and he was just saying thank god thank god thank god if you know one thing about nigerians they love to say thanks to god almighty so that's something you will always hear a nigerian parent say thank god God, thank God. Okay, so Cora Bidi's father was super excited. Cora was emotional. At some point, Cora was even shedding tears. She was so excited that her father was in the States. Lots of comments were flowing in. People were commenting, congratulations. We're so happy for you. This is so amazing. Dad is in the United States. We're so happy for you. We love seeing you this happy. Just absolutely amazing comments. People were talking about it posting about it even her friend jane mena dropped a beautiful comment for her telling her how excited that she wished that she was also in the united states to see uh the father koro Bidi's father in the united states you know love, love like lovely and good souls people with good heart wishing her well and whatnot here comes the beefers here come the haters here come the bitter souls here come those that does not like anything good or anything positivity those that don't like seeing people smile they started people some people started with comments like hmm the killer of mosquito is now in the united states y'all know what people were trying to say that Cora Bidi's father did some some that I can't even say here to cora allegedly when cora was a little girl how he was coming into cora's room to kill mosquitoes and the 
I take it. I too know said uh, somebody translated that to them. These I too know sort of people that they when they asked what that meant coming into someone's room to kill mosquitoes that uh, they someone actually said it was uh, the person like if someone is actually doing something inappropriate. Um, go sleep. Make an arrest. Zukwani ke. Zukwani ke. Gawa osiso. Like disappear. Vamos. <laughs> so that's what this beat up people. So a lot of people were like, yeah, uh, hope you keep the girls away from him. Hope he stays downstairs and you keep the girls upstairs. Keep the children away for, from Koro Bidi's father. And I'm like, what the heck are you people even saying? What in heaven's name are you people talking about? Like, seriously? You just don't like someone and you have to drag their father into the whole hot mess. You talk about stuff that you have no evidence of. And you just want to accuse and lay false allegations against someone's dad. So many nasty comments. And that's not only what I want to tell you. <laughs> it didn't stop at that. Mrs. A bit Mr. I say Mrs. Sorry. Mr. Cora Obiri, aka Justina. Okay, because we won't be using his name anymore. But when I say you know what I mean. Okay. So Mr. Cora Obiri had actually said some things online many years ago. So fast forward now, his bestie is now out there fighting, saying things like um, the same bestie that was dragging his recent ex, uh, Summer, the one that Dracora Bidi, Dracora's late mom, the one in Minnesota. Yes, that one. Mm -hmm. She posted something very lengthy on her account on Facebook saying things like, oh, now your dad is in the United States. Now I'm going to, um, your, now your dad is in the United States, so now your dad is going to collect water, water, like my dad did collect. Just the way you sent those, your people, to come and drag my dad. And I'm saying, what is it with people feeling like when someone does something, you have to blame the other person for it? Because if somebody it, did drag this particular woman's parents, for example, tell me, where is the evidence that this woman has actually posted online that proved to us that this was Koro Obidi on the phone, like us hearing Koro Obidi's voice on the phone, calling on someone, plotting with someone on a group or some group chat or somewhere, telling someone or telling some group of people or persons, please, can you actually go out there and drag this lady's uh, parents or can you go out there and drag this lady but this lady is saying koro Bidi's father is going to be collecting water water back to back now that he is in the united states and this lady didn't stop at that she actually referred to koro Obidi's father as the ugly man okay and she just has so much to say and when you go to the comment section you will hear people saying things like yes uh lady f we are with you go ahead um drag the heck out of this uh man now that he's in the state <laughs> oh my you did say that minnesota where you did far from where hand go touch you <laughs> you go collect uh, you go collect uh, make you they do too much and i just feel like this lady doesn't even understand that people can actually see through the nonsense that she's doing and it's so obvious that she's such a bitter person and she's trying to just hide under the umbrella of oh Koro Bidi sent people to drag me Koro Bidi sent people to harass insult drag my parents so I'm gonna do the same where she tried to defend herself why she was dragging Koro Bidi's late mom why she had so much to say about uh, Koro Bidi's like she, she's there's nobody she didn't insult the only people it's Koro korobidi's kids and she even said it that the only reason why she didn't insult korobidi's or drag korobidi's kids was because they were also the kids of her friend if not she would have even dragged the kid in cora's stomach 